We begin our story here at St John's Beaumont in Berkshire. It's one of the Jesuits 11 UK schools and the oldest purpose-built prep school in the country. So what are we taught that the Jesuits believe? What do we keep at the centre of our lives? To be a man for others. A man for others. Other things we know about. That we should help everyone. We should help people. To keep Christ at the centre of our lives. Okay, to keep Christ at the centre of our lives. Good. Respect people. Have respect. We should follow God and Jesus. Okay, th follow the example of God, follow Jesus' example. Be generous. Be generous. Help people. Help people, good. Reflect. Reflect. Um, try hard all the time. Okay, effort in things we do, do things properly. Good, good. Carrying on from the themes that we've been exploring, on these pieces of paper, I'd like you to write down those words that we've been discussing. So we need to think about the imagery, we need to think about all the words that encapsulate being part of a Jesuit community. don't need to be a Catholic to come to the school, but you have to buy into our ethos to come to this school. So that means engaging in worship with us, engaging in the Mass with us, engaging in the idea of um, what Jesuit education stands for, that to be in a Jesuit school we will put your learning into context, and more importantly than that, we will make sure that you go out into the world and you make a difference. So was it something that St Ignatius sort of set out to do from the beginning, education? Was it always on the agenda? Not at all. At first, uh, Ignatius wanted the first Jesuits to be very flexible, to be able to go where the need was greatest. But what they found was one of the, the great needs was in education, was setting up schools. And so in 1548, the town council at Messina in Sicily asked the Jesuits to begin a school, and we began a school, and that was how we got into education. And very quickly, schools then popped up in France and Spain and Italy and all places all across Europe. It's not just schools though, is it? Because it's colleges, universities... Yes, we, we are involved in all levels of education, right from preschool, right the way through primary and secondary school, to universities and beyond, yes. The Society of Jesus, or Jesuits, is a religious order within the Catholic Church, founded by Saint Ignatius of Loyola in 1540. With an emphasis on strong intellectual formation, former pupils are encouraged to excel in whatever field they choose to pursue. Here in Scotland, I catch up with the Jesuit-educated Frank Dunn, president of the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons. His academic career includes contributions to hundreds of medical publications. We're very lucky in the medical profession because in other professions you have to look out for doing good. But within your daily activity, if you practice properly to a high level as a doctor, you're doing good every day, you're helping your patients, you enter into their life and you support them. Frank attended St Aloysius College in the centre of Glasgow. It's a Jesuit mixed independent day school where from an early age pupils are encouraged to think for themselves. So what are some of the key characteristics of Jesuit education then? I think we would say that there are five. The first is intellectual formation. I think the second is having a broad curriculum and lots of extracurricular activities so that pupils can find something that they do well in and, and that is them. Um, I think it's also about that religious dimension where we feed the spirit and we encourage our youngsters to be generous in the way they serve others, men and women for others. I think it's about really good pastoral care so that especially when youngsters are in trouble, um, that we support them and we allow them to flourish and to grow. And I think lastly, it's about having broad horizons, that they feel that they belong to a global community and don't just always look inwardly. You're presented with these principles by the school, but you have to decide whether that's for you or not. You're not just doing it because you're a Catholic. <laughs> I 
think there's kind of two things that come from the education. I think there's the idea of pursuing excellence and being the very best you can be. And I think that a lot of our pupils are really highly motivated and very aspirational to do well in whatever field they're going into. But I also think, and I would say this from the very earliest years up, there's an emphasis on helping others and looking at how you can use your talents for other people. Um, and I think our students are really, really interested and kind of motivated by that. If we don't give them that feeling of a moral conscience in society, then, then what we're doing is, is failing in a way. It's not just about getting them into university. It's not to say that we are always better or anything like that than other schools, but we have our own particular ethos, our own way of operating, uh, our own priorities. And I'd like to think that, that much of that is based on the idea of, that we're a very reflective community in the, in the tradition of St Ignatius. It is this religious dimension that permeates through all Jesuit schools, where there is an emphasis on prayer and reflection, but combined with an unflinching call to action. Many of the religious activities pupils may take part in emanate from Saint Ignatius himself and his spiritual exercises. One such exercise is the daily examen, taking time out to review the events of the day, finding examples of where God has been at work. Ignatius urges us to do the exam on a daily basis with the idea that if we look back over our experience and reflect on it, we gradually become more aware of God's presence, but we also become more aware of the direction that God is calling us. So Adrian, I have with me um, St. Ignatius's spiritual exercises. Now, in what way is something like this today relevant to uh, the modern school and the modern school pupil? Well, these are the notes that Ignatius began writing in 1522. And these were his reflections on what it meant to be a human being and what it meant to have a relationship with God. And so here you find principles and exercises, thoughts and prayers. And these are very much Ignatius's vision for somebody living a good human life. And so this is the vision that still underpins Jesuit ministries today, and this is the vision that lies behind what we do today in Jesuit schools and have done for the last 450 years. So it's still very relevant? Very much very, very relevant. Um, you will recognise phrases and ideas from here in the way teachers and students and parents talk about education in a Jesuit school today.